over the past several weeks, there's been a lot of comments on the negative attribute of the Equinox by 600 and 800 being very poor uh, detector of coins on the edge. And so tonight, we'll just take a few minutes and go through and show you something really amazing I discovered. I would be out in the test garden, but it's rained for a week now. The grass is high. We really couldn't embed this particular dime in dirt, but while I went and I got a block of wood and cut a slot in it, I'm going to show you how I mount my dime. Take this regular dime, I cut a slot, put that dime in the slot. Now, Next, I went through and done a factory reset, and I want to show you by settings. And But I did make one adjustment. I did increase the volume to 25, just so you could hear it. So, ground bound zero, or the uh, ground bound zero, the uh, volume is 25, and everything else stays the same. This is part one program. So I'm going to go over the dime first on the weak point. This is lengthwise. This is what people are talking about on the internet about being weak. I've tried to keep the coil about three inches above the dial. Now I'm going to rotate 45 degrees. That's a typical on edge target signal that you get with just about any machine. You get a double bleep once as it, the coil starts over the coin, and then once as the coil passes past the coin. So, but what we're talking about tonight is going lengthwise, and the coin is going this way. I want to show you what I discovered. Now, of course, if you'll notice here, very intermittent, no good signal. Now, let's go and let's change the tone amount from 5 to 2. Listen what happens. Now, what I'm doing here. I've got, I'm trying to keep the coil three inches above the dime and keep the coil centered. And I want you to pay attention closely what happens as I move the coil away from the dime. Here's center. Look at the target ID. I'm going to move away from it slightly. The ID is climbing up. Now, three inches from the very tip of the coil, I'm getting a good idea. I'm going to come on out to the edge. Target ID 24. I'm going to go back toward the center. When I get toward the center, the ID and the audio goes away. Now I'm going to move forward just slightly. The good, solid ID. Very good audio comes back. Go and rotate 45. And the whole length of the coil from one end to the other gets a good target. Now I want to go here and change this back to stock, which is five. This is what people's talking about, but dead center. But now keep in mind, most all detector manuals recommend that you overlap your sweep. If you overlap your sweep with this Equinox a third, you would never see an issue with the center of this coil not detecting that coin on edge. But just overlapping one third, this is three inches from the front. This is even with the front. And the same thing with the back. So even though it does have a weakness, 
a detection margin that is exactly in the center of this coil, overlapping your sweep will change and make the difference to where you'll be able to detect these coin on edges without any difficulty.